Hello and welcome to Valhalla. It's developed by Sukiban Games. And, well, it describes as a cyberpunk bartending action game with waifus, basically. And also has, you know, mostly, it's mostly like a visual novel. Uh, but also you get to like, I guess, play as a bartender is the idea. So, you know, it seems like, so it seems like a, a game up my alley. So let's get started is what I want to say. But also there's also like an option here. I'm not sure, like... It says here prologue, I think. Oh, restarts. Oh no, wait, hold on. Go back to the main menu. No, I took too long in the main menu. There's a bit of an intro there. Um, that I don't think we need to see that yet. I think it, it I think it, that, that thing shows up anyway if you press new game, I think. I'm not entirely sure actually. But anyway, what I was trying to say is that uh, there's a there's an option for prologue here, which as far as I know, wasn't in the original release, you know, when the game came out. So normally you just start a new campaign, but the prologue was added after. I'm not entirely sure I'm supposed to do the prologue first, or is it like, you know, a prequel thing? So I'm not entirely sure. But I think it's... Well, I think you can do either way. From my limited research of the game, I think you can just do prologue or new game first. Um, I'll do the prologue first. Sounds like something you could should do. I don't know. So, oh, there's three days actually. So yeah, let's do the prologue first. Friday, December 9th. Oh. And, and I believe there was like um, a demo of this game, you know, before it came out. A while back. And I believe the prologue is the demo, you know, if I'm not mistaken. Like they added the, you know, this part into the actual game itself. But anyway, let's see. We're playing as Jill. And I think, you know, probably like um, in the prologue, it, like they just, you know, uh kind of just dive right in, you know, without much context. But I guess we'll, everything will be explained later on, I guess. Anyway. Good evening. Well, at least one of my, uh, at least one of my employees showed up. Okay. Dana? Dana? Dana. And Jill. Huh? What about Gil? Yogamesh? He mumbled something about hoes and pests and asked for a couple days off. Business as usual, then. Not quite. How so? I mean us, not Guild. Business will be a tad different through the weekend. We got booked. And that's a new one. Who made the new, who made the booking? The Sephar Tour Company. They make toys for dogs. Yes. It's their anniversary or something like that. We usually don't reserve the bar. Why do it this time? The plants are adorable. Excuse me? You'll see. Anything special I should know? They'll give you a ticket to trade in for any drink they want. Just do your usual thing. Yes, the usual thing. Fair enough. I'll be in my office. Call if you need me. Sure. Well then. Okay. Jukebox. Oh, select songs. Uh, add songs by clicking titles on the left. You can remove them by right-clicking their titles. Well, well, I can choose a bunch of songs. I'm not sure what song to choose, so I'll just choose, uh, you know, like this. I can't click on these ones. Just, just go in chronological order. Or, not chronological, but, you know. Just go in order. Well, time to mix drinks and change lives. I'm not completely blind on this game. I've seen it when it came out. You know, I saw some gameplay. And it looked really good. And, you know, it convinced me to, like, buy the game myself and play it myself. I just never had the time to, like, actually play it until now. Anyway, uh, Lord Pumple Rump. Um, excuse me, I'll have a grizzly temple. Hello? <laughs> it's a dog. A dog. A talking dog. Are you with the Sephar Tour Company? Yeah, did I arrive too early? No. The clients are adorable. Son of a bitch. A grizzly temple, right? Coming right up. Oh, this dog wants a grizzly temple. Um, recipe book, BTC. Welcome back to the navigation bar. So we, I mean, you know, it's a visual novel, but also there's you can make drinks. I guess is the idea. There's some gameplay in the visual novel. Amazing, revolutionary. Um, grizzly temple. So it's my name. 
It's 220 bucks is a lot. And I guess the, the, the setting for this for this visual novel, if you didn't know already, is like a cyberpunk. It's like a dystopian future where, you know, corporations own everyone and everything. And I guess, you know, everything's overpriced because of inflation, I imagine. And a lot of like tropes and I guess, uh, tropes and cliches. Not, well, not a cliche, but not in a bad way, I guess. That, you know, come from the genre itself of cyberpunk. Anyway. Three uh, Aldohyde, three Bronson Extract, three Powder Delta, and one Carmatrine. All blended. This one's kind of unbearable. It's mostly for the fans of the movie it was used in. Hmm. Better prom promo promo? Or promotion? No, promo promo. promo. Blend. Promo as in like it's like a, a, a drink, well, it says right here in the movies. It's a popular drink. Commercialized, I guess. Mm, slot one, slot two. Helicopter. Very cute, yeah. Mm. So aldehyde is this? Where? How do I? Oh, here. Yeah. Put it in the thing. And then Bronson extract so this, like that. Three powder delta. One carmatrine. And all blended. I don't know what that means. How do I blend? <laughs> Hmm. There's aging, there's ice. There's no ice as far as I know, right? No aging. So just mix, I guess? No? Oh, that was bad. Apparently that was wrong. Try again. And I like... No, that's ice. I don't know, I was only there's hockeys. Like A for Aldeheim? No, that's age. I don't know, whatever. I don't know the hockeys. Just do that again, again, again. Getting used to it. When you play the probably when you play the actual press new game, then they probably give you a tutorial, but again, they just dive you right in. Because I believe this is the demo. You know? They just like just go. I assume also like because this prologue it came out the after, you know, the release of the game kind of like new content technically but I'm doing it first I don't know it's weird okay so you have to get you have to you have to let it like um, mix some more I guess rather than just doing it right away I guess so well, here you go achievement I got achievement I don't know if you can see I don't think you can here you go thanks Lord Bumpalum it's gonna be a long weekend isn't it Hey, is the Bronson extract here produced using organic roots? I don't know that information. Ariel Wienerton. Anyone who can talk to about that? Here, right now? No. But you should have, uh, have that information on hand. You know, you work here. You should know everything. Well, every BTC certified bar is no different from a fast food chain. We get the same supplies as everyone else. Ask BTC officials if you want to know. BTC, what does that stand for? I know here. Yeah, well, when I see BTC, I think of Bitcoin. Remember Bitcoin? I don't, not really. I, I really never really knew what Bitcoin was. It's like some new currency, but then it kind of flopped? I don't know. But maybe some people still use it? Uh -huh. well, but you should. You should know everything. Mm -hmm. But we don't. But saying that we should over and over is not going to change reality. This is bringing. This is giving me traumatic flashbacks of customer service. Stop it. Well, give me something with lots of Bronson extract then. Okay. Well, I'm selling a Bronson extract. Uh. All drinks? A fedora. For mm. dice. Price of 500 bucks. Mmm. Bronson extract. Flavor? I don't know. I might have to, like, look at all of them. Because I don't know what has lots of Bronson extract. The rush? I guess I can do this, yeah. Let's see. Uh, start from the beginning, Zen Star all for each ingredient. This one has four as well. Two, look, look, look at the yellow ones. Three, well, this one has five, so Piano Woman, keep that in mind. Uh, one, oh, this one has six, Mars Blast, okay, Mars Blast, keep that in mind. Anything else? There's one, two, okay, Mars Blast. I think Mars Blast is the best one. 
You wanted, you know, something with a lot of Bronson extract? You can give him something... Well, I guess we can give him something different, but... Probably not a good idea. And since we're here, free bar. I guess because they look the bar. I don't know. So we're not, like, getting, like, a tip or anything, as far as I know. We can just give him the wrong one, but... Let's not do it. Let's do our job. Let's be a professional, I guess. Let's do our jobs properly. So this one has six in it. Two, three, four, five, six. One powder delta. Or flag neural guide. Two carmatrine. And that's it, right? Six of that. One of that. Four of that. Two of that. Blended. Blend, 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 blend. And then woo! Like that. Guess that's how it works. Serve it. Oh, how's that work in real life? Is that how it works in real life? Do you have like... I don't know. I mean, I guess you mix it like that. I don't know. I don't go to bars, so I have no idea. Uh, here. What the hell is this? Your order. And this is what Bronson Estrak tastes like. Sorta, yeah. Well, fuck that noise. It's not worth the effort. <laughs> okay, he doesn't like Bronson Estrak. Even though he asked for it. <sighs> no, it's not. Excuse me. Oh, thank God, a person. Uh, well, I mean, a robot person. I guess they're people. I guess pe robots are people. Well, as much of a person as the designated driver can be. What I mean is, why are there so many dogs? Why dogs? Why? Well, the Corgis created a Sephar toy company, and they've been doing a great job, so... A company run exclusively by dogs, really. Oh, yeah, sentient dogs. That's just in the future. And a good one is that. The only problem is that they have a not so discreet preference for hiring corgis exclusively. Hmm, nepotism. Why? Well, something about being more comfortable around their own kind. Are you with them? Well, I do prefer corgis, but... No, I mean, are you working with them? Yeah, well, I'm not only here because the law requires at least one humanoid on the payroll. Ah, oh, yes, affirmative action. <laughs> probably, probably a lot of, like, you know... Real life, I guess. References. Not references. I don't know. How do we call them? Parodies? I guess satire, you know? But like, it's in a, you know, it's in a in this, this dystopian future and everything. So everything's actually just ridiculous as well. Anyway. Does law really cover such scenarios? Why well, take a job like this? Well, because it means I'm surrounded by corkies all day long. Well, I guess if you like dogs. Designated drive for wolves aside, it's the closest thing to heaven. Do you even like drink though? You're a robot. I don't know. Maybe I'm being, you know, uh, robot robotist. I get. I don't know. Anyway. Although to be fair, I'm not much of a drinker anyway. I assume he can drink. I see. Well, each to their own. Are you gonna drink anything? Do you have anything non-alcoholic? Well, let's see what I can fetch you. Did you intend to make a pun? A pun? Never mind. Oh, fetch it. Uh, something non-alcoholic. Hmm. I think I- well... Again, I've seen some gameplay. And I think I know what that means, sort of? Let's see. And this? Did that? No, I don't know. Actually, I can do this. Well, I don't know what this is, though. Perfume? Bottom? I don't know what that means. I don't know the big guy. I don't know. Non-alcoholic. It doesn't. I don't think it actually says here. And maybe this is a uh, reference. I don't know. I think maybe again, if you start like an actual new game, it tells you, like the whole tutorial and everything. It doesn't give you a tutorial right now, so it's gonna be very confusing if you're a new player, I guess. But I think it's like kind of like you know, like for example, Fringe Weaver has nine cam cam Drinking ethical alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. So I believe Carmatrine is the alcohol. And I believe it's the only one that's optional, I think. Yeah. So basically, you want to give him something with no Carmatrine. So like, uh, you know, I guess anything works. But maybe something he would like. But we don't have, I don't know what he would like, though. Exactly. Spicy, classic, sobering. Why not? And then, well, this is something I guess you drink if you want to, like, not... Be drunk, I guess. I don't know. Mm, optional, optional. 
frothy water. Frothy water. Classic, bland, bubbly. No, this might work. It's like, you know, just like watered down beer, I guess, is the idea. How about this one? Take that. All aged, okay? Aged and mixed. Okay, it's not blended, it's mixed, I think. Yeah, okay, what's the difference between blend and mix? I have no idea. You do that, right? So like... I don't know. Like in real, I mean, I'm thinking like real life, you know? I mean, Gameplay-wise, I guess mix means you like... Um... You serve it right away, you know? You just slosh it a bit. But blended means you like... I guess you put it like in a blender, you know? Like, like that. So it's, I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe use the, the texture, maybe? You know? Something just... Taste is different if you blend it more? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, here. Oh, thanks. You sure this isn't alcoholic? Pretty sure. Okay. Well, you, you don't want him, like, uh, driving when he's drunk. That'd be a bad idea. He's a designated driver. But then again, it's the, it's the you know, the distant future, right? Even though it's a dystopia, it's a bunch of technology, right? You know, considering there's talking dogs and, you know, robots. Isn't there like a self-driving car? No self-driving cars? Mm, I don't know. Well, listen, I need to know. Is it really going to be only or a corgis today? Is that all I'm going to do all night? Serve the same kind of dog over and over? Well, the vast majority of them are Pembroke Welsh corgis. Welsh. There are a couple of Cardian Welsh corgis. A cardigan Welsh corgis. But the relationship between the two breeds is a tad difficult. So the cardigans aren't invited. So yeah, I guess you'll be serving the same kind of dogs all night. Not well, as a Putin kind of dog. But no, I mean... Isn't there some other human I might talk to today? There's a woman on staff, but she couldn't come today. Oh boy. Is it a problem somehow? It's not really a problem. We've survived worse than this. Like that time when an AA meeting came here asking for non-alcoholic stuff only. <laughs> Alcoholics Anonymous? But just be thinking about the fact that I'm serving drinks to dogs. At some point, all the choices in my life led me to serving drinks to a group of talking dogs. It's one of those moments that makes you want to stop and rethink where your life is going. Hmm. I guess it's a surprise to Jill, you know, there's talking dog. But it's not so much of a surprise that, you know, you need to pinch yourself and think you're dreaming. So I guess it's possible, but just not. I mean, I guess in this, you know, in this world, it's not impossible. It's just kind of crazy. Do you perhaps not like this job? I do. I love every second of this job, but the dogs. It's like a fashion designer suddenly realizing he's been designing edible underwear. I still don't see what your problems with your dogs, but I'm not going to force the subject. Well, I'm going to try entertaining myself for a bit. There's stuff for playing pool is underneath the table. There are also darts in the box next to the jukebox. Great. Thanks for the information. How if you need another drink? Sure. Lady Banner. I'm feeling happy, so I'll get everyone around. Actually, it's a free bar. I won't let you spoil my mood. I want a fringe weaver. You're coming right up. This dog wants a fringe weaver. Hmm. Oh, I guess it's like that. So it's easy. Uh, yeah, I'll a lot of karma tree. Eight, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Actually, I don't know. I can't count. I don't know how to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. I, was, I don't know. For some reason, I thought like maybe I should have added a little more. I somehow miscounted because there's one thing, like one slot missing, but no. Um, aged. Mixed. Like so. Fringe Weaver. Here you go. Yeah, you know, these these all all these drinks are probably references like real life drinks maybe, I'm thinking. But I'm not really you know, I'm not a drinker, to be honest. I don't really know most of the names of real life drinks. But you know, it's probably like a reference to a lot of those drinks anyway. There you go. So an awesome day! Alright. Dragon fucker. Ah yes. Yo, what's an alpha male gonna do to get some service? Meh. What may I serve you? Beer and quickly. Right up. Beer. This uh, dog wants beer. You have beer? Oh, we have beer. You're just straight up just beer. 
all mixed. Traditionally, brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. Oh, yes. A lot of things we consider like normal in the present day in 2020, I guess. Uh, not so, not so, uh, not so um, easily accessible, I guess, in a dystopian future. I wonder how anime is, you know? What kind of anime do they have in this dystopian future? I have no idea. Well, I'm gonna mix it. And as beer, which is very similar to the frothy water. It's like, a, I guess, frothy water is just basically beer without the alcohol. Here you are. Damn, you're a slow piece of shit. <laughs> you're slow. So rude. Hey boss, what's the opposite of deja vu again? Jamais vu. Jamais vu. Never heard of that. Jamais vu, the opposite of deja vu. Yeah, that. Are you having a premonition? Is it a deadly premonition? Something like that. That dog felt uncannily familiar. Are you bored? Not really. I was playing the darts a bit ago. I thought about playing pool, but all the other clients are thumb challenged. Sorry if this sounds rude, but why was the dart box so dusty? You're the first person in the year or so I've been here that has actually played with darts. I think even my boss forgot they existed. By the way, how are the dogs as clients? Well, we had worse. Have you had someone come in and gnaw chairs to pieces? Yes, she was testing out her new mechanical teeth. She got banned from entering any PTC bar after that. I guess, well, I'm trying to say like bartenders. I was, I was gonna say bartenders association? Not association. I don't know what the C stands for. Anyway, we got banned from eating chairs. Well, with anecdotes like those, you think serving dogs would feel totally normal. You'd be wrong because even then, we were talking about humans. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've served a dog or two in my time, but they usually come in with someone. And they never talk. They, well, well, that's like a normal dog, I guess. But then, you serve them drinks? That's kind of weird. Can, can dogs, like real-life dogs, can they drink? The alcoholic drink? I don't know. I don't think, I don't think, I know that like, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't give a dog a chocolate. You know, that's bad. That's poisonous to them. Uh -huh. I don't know, alcohol is the same way. I mean, alcohol, I mean, alcohol is poisonous to humans. But anyway. Now that I think about it, are these drinks bad for the dog? Yeah, that's why I'm speaking. Now you worry about that? But no, they aren't. Only cappuccino monkeys are at risk if they drink those chemicals. Hmm. Anyway, you want anything to drink? Uh, surprise me, but keep it non-alcoholic. Sure. Okay. Non-alcoholic surprise. Whatever that means. Well, basically we'll just give him something... We'll give him something else, you know? That's not frothy water. I saw another one called Bleeding Jane. Maybe we'll give him that. Powdered Delta. Flagner guy? No. Mm. Uh, Bronson S round three. I know. Right. Say the name of this drink three times in front of the mirror and you look like a fool. I'm bleeding Jane. Bleeding Jane, bleeding Jane, bleeding Jane. And you gotta blend it, I guess. Blend it. This music stopped, oh no. Silent. Oh, sorry again. Bleeding Jane, here you go. Here you go. Thank you. I guess, well, Bleeding Jane is not, I, I guess, as a reference to the Bloody Mary. Is that what it is? Which, I guess, yeah, that's also a drink, right? Yeah, again, a lot of drinks are references to real life ones. Anyway, thank you. This might sound weird to ask, but they talk through their collars, right? Hmm. That's right, okay. Interesting lore. How do they work? It's not too hard, really. They're just translators. Okay. They read the dog's brains and turn their thoughts into words. I was wondering, like, do they go woof 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 while they're talking? There's like a double like audio, but no, I guess it's just from their brains. Do keep in mind that today's dog breeds have more cognitive capacity than their ancestors. If you put the translators on dogs from a decade ago, they wouldn't work like they do now. Yeah, I read something about that once. Another question is, why do they wear those small tuxedos? Well, it's good for PR. You don't say. Well, it'll be a bit before we go for the day. Any other questions? Yes, why the fuck do those dogs want to get drunk? They see humans do it and they think it might be fun. Just like teens, then. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm about to play. Uh, darts, maybe. Oh, Satan's helper. Hmm. How can I serve you? Man! 
Excuse me? Mom! A moon blast? Mom! A big moon blast. Moon. Alright then. Okay, I don't think... This dog, I feel like, doesn't have a high cognitive capacity. Or maybe he's just drunk, you know? Maybe this dog's just drunk. That, that could be a thing. So a big moon blast. I don't make it big. Hmm. I guess? Oh, I, oh, okay, I remember. Okay, I can't remember. I, uh... Because I... No, it's been too long. I don't know, it's been a, a few years since the game came out. Not too long, though. Only a few years. But I remember certain things because I've seen other people play this play this game. Um, so I think to make it big, you double it, I believe, right? You know, I, I don't know, I don't know how, I don't know why I remember this, but I just do, I guess. So I was like, one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. Okay. Then two powder deltas, I assume. Two flannerine and four of these. Yeah, and that makes it big, I I get I, I guess. And on the rocks is ice. I believe. And then you blend it. No relation to the hydron cannon. You can see on the moon for one week every month. Mm. Sweet, early and happy. Then you you blend it. Can you just keep blending forever? You know? Just keep blending it. Shake, shake, shake. I guess that's how bartenders do it. They shake, shake, shake. Take the little thing, and then yeah, that's how they make drinks. Amazing. Free bar. I'll get nothing, I guess. Uh, here. Because I think that's normally where I, I assume it looks like money, you know? Money. Boop. Two dollars. And that was just free bar. Mom! Is that a good moon or a bad moon? Uh, pesky furball. A revisque picasse lise pay. Yes, is this Latin? Pig Latin? Revisque pic picasse? A crevice spike? Uh, sure. Oye, understand a ime? Danny? You. Is it like you under. It's like reverse, I guess. You understand me? Okay. I was a kid too. Okay, crevice spike. Two powder dough, four flag, and an optional camera All blended. It will knock the drunkenness out of you or knock you out cold. Mm. A sobering drink. Despite being alcoholic. Uh, it's a strong drink. Mm. Guess I'll give like. You know, these dogs are pretty, getting pretty drunk. I'll give like two and blend it. Shake, shake, shake. Boom. Looks like green goo. You know? Uh, Erdo Hey. Or it's like here. Uh, thanks. I guess. Thanks, eh? Alright, one more drink before we wrap things up. And what do you want? I'm not picky. Give me anything. Of course. Anything, he said. Anything. Alright. Just choose my favorite drink. I don't know. Ten Star. That's a good one. Suplex. Or Bronson Astronaut. Well, then again, well, he wanted... He's a designated driver. I shouldn't give him beer, or rather alcohol. I'll do this one. This is optional Karmatrine, so that means I don't have to put Karmatrine, right? Can't what you can't. Karmatrine, Karmatrine. I say Karmatrine, Karmatrine. Sunshine Cloud. Tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel, too. Very sweet. Okay. I don't know. Rocks and blended. It's like a small drink at the end. It's like a dessert, I guess. There you go. It's like a tropical drink. Here you are. Thanks. So, what exactly do you do? Sorry if it's rude to ask. I guess I'm what people call an office boy. My duties usually involve looking for things, answering a few calls, that sort of stuff. But this being a dog run company, there are a lot more responsibilities. Like getting stuff off of shelves and opening windows, I guess. At least they pay well. I see. And how do you end up in that position? Where'd you get that offer? One of my neighbors, the owner of one of the dogs, he told me they needed thumbs. Figures. They are cel uh, celebrating the company's anniversary, right? 
Yeah, five years ago, three corgis became dissatisfied with the quality of existing dog toys. So they founded this company. Uh, they got the money from their owners, if I remember correctly. You know, they just want, they just want better toys. I can see that happening somehow. The SDC is the biggest, second biggest dog toy company in the world. Fun fact, they started as Sephar Tour Development. Isn't that unfortunate? Hello! Dorothy. Dorothy. Hmm? The bar's favorite sweetheart has arrived! Why are you quiet? I'm waiting for the audience's cheers to stop. Oh, yes. But she's also alright. Is that one a robot? I think she's a robot. She has the robot hands. This isn't a sitcom. Ah, honey, how innocent. Um, excuse me, you are... I'm the lovely 30 Hayes. At your sir... Wait, you are Lilum. Not at your service, then. Oh, Lilum. Is that what they're called? I guess, oh, yeah, they're Lilum. I think, yeah, I... I okay, it's been a while. Like, again, to give some context, you know. It's like, you know, mostly blind, you know, for the most part. I just watched a little bit of the beginning. I remember certain things, but... I think I've, I've seen... Like, Lilum is just, you know... Basically just robot people, as far as I know. And don't be rude to other clients. She's kind of a regular here. Kinda. I've been coming here religiously for the past three months now. Three months. How? I come here to see your charming face and you say I'm just a kind of a regular... For shame, honey. For shame. I'm sorry, I guess. Nothing a free drink will solve. Won't do. Huh? You're playing hard to get. No, oh, even if I wanted to give you a drink, we're a book for the whole weekend. Don't you think you should at least put a sign out in front some or something? Hey, I only found out myself just a few minutes ago. I should get out of my one of my tickets if you're okay with it. Well, I see no problem then. Oh, you're so sweet. If you were at least 40% organic, I would give you a discount. A uh, discount? You don't need to know. Okay. So who booked you? This guy? The Sephar Toy Company. Uh, what do they do? We, um, they create dog toys. Oh, lovely. It's also run by dogs. Oh, don't joke like that. You think I kid about something like that? You mean that if I turn around, I see dogs? Yeah, didn't you see them when you came in? I just entered without looking anywhere else but the bar. You look troubled. I'm not too much of a dog person. I even charge extra if my clients wanted doggy style. <laughs> okay. Doggy? You don't need to know. Alright. Don't worry about it. I'm going to take this ticket and trade it next Monday. I'm leaving right now. She doesn't like dogs. I wonder why. This, the ticket would expire by then, though. And she looks like the kind of girl that will hold you to your promise regardless. Is it that obvious? Well, I have to gather the cabs outside. Keep it up, bartender. Good night. Yeah, you too. Good night. Come again. Alright, sirs. The night's over. You have kennels you need to return to. All done? Yeah. Boss, how do you end up being booked by dogs? I know some dogs myself. Huh. And you told me we're booked the whole weekend, right? That's right. Hmm. Please, bear with it. Well, I was going to say that would be a pun if we were serving bears. Are we going to serve bears later? I don't know. Well, we're all doing our part after all. Yeah, yeah. Well, I gotta go for today. Bye. Take care. Alright. It's the next day, Saturday, December 10th. Game. We watch. We protect. Cyborg. Cyborg guy. Uh, good evening. Day two of serving dogs. Are you ready? No. Cheer up. No. 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 Well, that attitude won't make things easier for yourself. Serving dogs won't ease things either. Have you heard anything from Gil? No, but he should be having fun wherever he is. Also, do you know we had darts? Yeah, I do. Why didn't you tell me? Because that's the kind of stuff you should just assume. A target board usually comes with a set of darts. Mm, where is the target? I don't see a target board. I see a jukebox. Do you like darts, boss? 
Not particularly, but now I owe an apology to someone. Hmm? Anyway, call me if you need anything. Sure, <laughs> what did she do? The darts. Well then. I said, I think I said 2069? I guess that's the date. Or at least that's the date for the jukebox. Let's see. Uh, let's do some music. I hope this music is copyright free, <laughs> because otherwise, the VOD will get muted. Anyway. Where do I go from here? So you can remove them by clicking their title. Can I like reset? Uh, I kind of want to like reset. I guess I'm just do this. And use different songs now. Like this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, this one, this one. And this one, this one, this one. And this one. And this one. Hey. I kind of wish it was like a random, you know? Because I don't really know the songs, right? I just want to hear them, so. I want to hear them all. It's like a shuffle, you know, it's a shuffle playlist. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh, hey, can I have a big beer, please? Betty, alright. Wearing a coat halfway? Is that a fashion statement? I don't know. Oh, thank God, a human. Sure, coming right up. Let's give her a big beer. Scooby? I wish I could, like, can I click on them? No, I just have to, like, drag it every time. I feel like. I don't know these are slot one, slot two, it's like memory cards. Um, oh, actually, I did it wrong. You said. Actually, no, I did it right. No, she wants a big one, right? Yeah. I was thinking I did it wrong, but actually, no, I did it right. Two, uh, four, four of these, and then eight of these. One, two, three, four, and all mixed. Right? No, nothing else. Okay. There you go. Big beer. Yeah. Here. Thank you. you. May I ask what do you do for the these dogs, Miss um Beatrice, but everyone calls me Betty. And why do you need to know that? If you've been stuck with dogs all day, you'd also be curious when a human walks in. Fair enough. I'm their veterinarian. They're all your clients? Yeah, company issued a vet. I mean I have my own office, but it's in their building. So you're Betty the vet. Oh, cram it. Was that like a joke? Betty the veterinarian or something? Sorry, not in the mood for puns right now. I kind of don't get it. Be Betty the Betty? I don't know. Anyway. I'll keep it in mind. Anything else I might need to avoid bringing up around you besides puns? Enhancements, but that's harder to shove into the conversation in the first place. Noted. What do you have against enhancements anyway? They're unnatural. They go against the very idea of human evolution. Hmm, has been like cybernetic. Hmm. But there's a certain wall that humans can't cross without enhancements. It's not like having something in place will automatically make you an expert in things. Well, I don't know. There's, you could like install a chip in your brain, maybe. That can make you into an expert in something. I don't know. If anything, getting an enhancement sets you back till you get used to it. Yeah, but it just makes things too easy on paper. Anyone with money can replace their body parts and call it a day. But you have a point. Skill doesn't ship up enhancements, at least not yet. Sorry for the outburst, I have my story of enhancements. No, I don't mind. Way more entertaining than serving drinks to talking dogs. We really, I don't know, we're very prejudiced against talking dogs, I guess. We really don't like dogs. Similar to Dorothy. Dorothy? What's her name? Dorothy? <clears throat> Sorry. Speaking of which, that's my job right now. You want another drink? I'm fine for now. Tell me if you need anything. Sure. Worm frigger. Hey, I've seen the red dot. I've seen many things in my life, but a red dot? Not today, no. Do you have any red drinks? Red drinks? Yeah, the drink might know something. Right. A red drink. <laughs> How's that work? How do I find a red drink? I don't know actually. I guess if a drink looks red, you give it to him, but I don't know. And maybe something with a lot of aldehyde? Like, I guess I can make because I, I assume when you make it a drink, there's an icon that appears here. Obviously. But is there any. Well, 
Oh, this is a face red. I remember the bleeding Jane, actually. That was red, right? I remember that. Bleeding Jane. I think this one's red. So I'll do this. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you blend it. Like so. And it looks red, right? It looks right to me. Unless I'm color- I don't know. Unless I'm colorblind. Or dog colorblind? Can they even tell? <laughs> Here. Oh, thanks. Okay, Puck, hear me out. You're gonna tell me where that red's are when it'll drink you. I'm not bluffing, I'll drink you all up. Wham! Bangkok bastard. Those damn Pomeri Pome Pomeranians. They think they can come and take our jobs. Excuse me? We've been getting some serious media attention because the company only hires corgis. Must be slow news day. But you know what I say? It's good that we don't hire anyone else. We don't need more racists ruining our workplace. <laughs> okay, this is... It's a very... He's a, he's a racist dog. Next thing you know, they'll be asking us to hire cats. The travesty. Oh, the humanity. Or I guess the dog manity. Yeah. What did other races bring new skills to the company? Ah, shut up. What do you know? Now give me a bad touch. <laughs> Alright. A bad touch for the dog. B -b 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 bad touch. I guess I'll give him a bad touch. We're nothing but mammals after all. I think that's a song? That is a reference to a song. Yeah. Let's see. Two here. Two Flagnerai. And four Karma Train. On the rocks. And mix, right? You just double check. You know, I'm just... I'm not that great at counting, you know? I never finished counting class. <laughs> That's bad touch, right? Yeah. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Racist dogs. What are the odds? Wait, if I can't tell the differences between them, does that make me racist too? That is that is an interesting fact, by the way. You know, it's like you know how it's like how we as humans can tell very much uh, differences, like you know, eye color and face shape, and you know, skin even skin color, you know, but like between other animals that are not humans, it's really hard to tell, right? Unless you really pay attention to those really minuscule differences. But between the animals in their own species, they can tell the differences, right? Like between dogs, for example, like uh, like if you, if you didn't know them, it'd be hard to tell if they're in the same species. But actually, within their own species, they can tell, you know, who's different because of how their brains work, you know, within... Like similar, again, how humans, we can tell the differences between each other because that's how our brains work. Anyway. Well, would it matter if you're racist against racists? I don't know. It's like you're kind of, you're kind of fighting fire with fire. Um, hmm. Bartender, please stop dozing off. I need booze. Sorry, what can I get you? I'll have a Zen star. Sure. The vet wants a Zen star. Uh, name? Zen star? Right here. The Zen star is four of each ingredient. All on the rocks and mix. Do you think something so balanced... Uh, would actually taste nice, but you'd be dead wrong. Okay. I guess it's, it's uh, well, it tastes bland, I guess. Oop, beep, pop, beep, and yeah, four of everything. Just, just literally just four of everything. On the rocks and mix. Oop. There you go. Probably tastes like water. Here. Thank you. Hmm. Something on your mind? Willing to lend an ear? Well, let me just take out my ear. No. It's in the job description. Kind of. Alright then. So you mentioned the thing about talking uh, talking dogs. I thought... People throughout the ages have always dreamt about talking to animals. Never mind the fact that we could always understand their body language. Now that we understand them, what do we find out? They're just furry, adorable little office workers. Actually, scratch that. I've yet to meet a furry office worker with half the charisma of these little guys. <laughs> Furries, eh? You've met furry office workers? <sighs> I've seen my share of the world, bartender. It sounds like you're tired. It's fleas and tick season. I am tired. So you're the tick. <laughs> Don't you dare. 
What do you mean? Ticketary? I don't know. Like, is he gonna look and make, uh, make another pun? I don't know the pun. I'm not. I, you know, people always, always like groan at puns, but I'm, I'm kind of impressed by the puns that people make because I would have never, you know, thought about it. Unless it's very obvious, I guess. Unless it's a, a very obvious pun. But anyway, well, this whole free bar thing is nice, though. I guess it would have been nicer if we actually had the time to get properly ready. What do you mean? I found out about the about the booking yesterday as I was, I was getting ready. The client asked for something special. Is there something I need to know about them? My boss didn't specify anything. All she said to me was, "Pretend it's like any other day." That was a screw up on our end. Sorry. They were desperately looking for a place to celebrate. I was actually surprised to find out they got a place. Why all the sudden plans? Did they forget their anniversary or something? We found a place, but the cardigans were the ones that hired it. Then some stupid argument arose, and the Cargans decided they didn't want to have any Pembrokes at their party. I swear to God, these dogs are like annoying little suburban kids. Or suburban kids. What are these Cardigans I keep hearing about? Oh, just another kind of Corgi, except with different fur colors and a slightly different attitude. All of this is so silly. I've seen dogs play with cats, dogs play with other dogs, and dogs mating with dogs twice their size. Well, that's what happens when you have dogs mimicking their owners. I mean, that's the reason they are in the bar in the first place. But I guess the media focus on the Pembrokes probably didn't help. Uh, well, if you excuse me, I have dogs to yeah. Hmm? Oh yeah, yeah, do your job. But don't mind me. Tortilla Pope. Hey, buddy. Hello. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Um, you? I am. Well, thanks, buddy. How can I serve you? Well, a big sunshine cloud would be nice. Coming right up. Sunshine cloud. It's a big one too, so I'll double the size. Can I make? Can I triple the size? I don't know if I can. Uh, you try that. <laughs> I can triple the size. I don't know if that works. And then on the rocks, just. You know, optional karma trees. For a bunch, whatever. This is like old chocolate milk, it's good smelling to smell in town. Okay. And then you blend it, right? No, I failed. Okay, I can't. Even though the ratio is correct, as far as I know, it doesn't work. Okay. I assume, yeah, I think I did it right. I, I guess you can't do that. Um. Unless maybe you have to like quadruple the size, maybe it works for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> just put whatever. Just put like I don't know. Put that, and then blend it again. Blend, blend, blend. There you go. So the uh, sunshine cloud was a big one too. Here. Oh, ain't you a cutie? Loopy doopy poo. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> okay. Guess he's mimicking of their owner. You know, these dogs. You know what I hate, man? What do you hate, dog? Cabbages, man. They're like lettuces that decide to go to the gym. They think they're a big deal because their leaves are harder. Guess what? I don't like them. Well, calm down, dog. You want anything? For cabbages to not exist. Who rage? I mean, to drink. Oh, I'll have a big grizzly temple then. I could do that. Big grizzly temple. Grizzly Temple. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. okay. And then boop, beep, up, beep, boop, beep. Mm, oh, well, same thing. Three of these, or six of these. And two of these. This one's kind of unbearable. It's mostly for the fans of the movie. Right. That's not right. I get, sometimes I, I read it again because I thought I didn't read it, but I did. Here we go, chill out for a bit, dog. Thanks, man. Bartender. Yeah. Do you have anything sweet? We're talking about drinks, right? Are you hitting on me? <laughs> if that's how you want to see it. Let me see what I can get you. And make it big. Do you like them big, Miss Betty? It's not the size, but how you sell it. 
Gourmet food exists for that sole reason, I guess. Wise words. <laughs> a lot of sexual innuendos. You know, is there like a... I was, nah, never mind. You know, I was, I was gonna say there's like a Futanari enhancement, you know, in this dystopian future. Anyway. Um, sweet drink. Flavor. Sweet drink. I guess all sugar fresh. Probably has a lot of sugar in it. Sweet, lighty, and fruity, as girly as it gets. Adahan and one powder delta. This one's a big one though. A big one. Right there. An optional comic trip. Oop, beep, up, boop, beep, beep. I don't know. Just put random number. And then, yeah, just mix. There you go. Here. Thanks. You know, I'm curious. What's the weirdest client you ever gotten? I wouldn't be able to tell you. There are many kinds of weird. Pick the first one that comes to mind. Well, there was this one guy that spent 30 minutes arguing with himself before ordering. Hmm, that's not that weird. Oh, well, he came in wearing a Velociraptor mask and wouldn't stop screaming. Hmm. Anyway, that reminds me of a streamer I watched that did exactly that. Anyway, he left humming Moonlight Sonata afterwards. Oh, yeah, that's weird. At least he left a nice tip. Speaking of anecdotes, can I ask what's your story with the enhancements? Why the interest? Because it seems like a personal thing. It doesn't sound like it's a question of ethics. And honestly, I'm really bored. <laughs> sure, I can entertain you a bit. Back when I was a college freshman, some friends of mine decided to get their hands enhanced. It was around the time we all started practicing surgery. They just wanted to bypass all the practice needed. And so they hired a shady character who was supposedly hooked them up. Well, you probably shouldn't have done that. I only talked one of them out of it. The others went off with the guy and got their hands chopped off. It was one of those stories that ends badly, I'm guessing. Yeah, four girls underwent the shady surgical procedure. Two lost their hands, one was left in an arth uh, arth arthritic mess, and the last died on the operation table. Well, so yeah. I'm not too fond of enhancements. Especially if they're taking an effort to avoid effort. Well, I think- I feel like that's a problem with the process, not the end result, you know? Maybe they shouldn't go to that shady person in the first place to get enhancements. Though probably, you know, getting actual enhancements is, uh, very expensive in this dystopian future. Probably have to be ultra-rich. And in order to get ultra-rich in the first place, you know, you gotta get enhancements. It's Catch-2020. This culture become better automatically of enhancements really gets on my nerves. Well, that story sounds familiar. Did that shady guy have a bleached mustache and a tattooed black eyebrows? He also talked using an electro larnax. You see them? A larnax? Larnix? No, but I remember the news about the police catching someone who's performing illegal surgeries. Never thought I'd meet someone affected by him. It's a small world, isn't it? Uh, well, I guess I gotta check on the dogs to see if they're fine. Sure, I'll keep on serving them booze. Thanks for sharing that story. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Hey man, have you ever felt like time is moving too fast? Uh, tonight I feel like it's not moving by fast enough. <laughs> Lucky you. Well, they say that time feels like it's going by too fast. They're having a good time. What can I serve you? I want a bad touch. <laughs> Sorry, coming right up. What's it? Hey, hey, bad touch. Is she gonna just laugh? Is Jill gonna laugh every time someone says bad touch? Dog wants a bad touch. And one, two, three, four. On the rocks and mix it up. Here you go. Have a good time out there. Maybe you're right. Thanks. Dog five. Bartender. Hmm? One Brantini, please. Sure. Okay. Brantini. Name? Brantini? I assume it's like a martini. Eight out of ten smug assholes will recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. Brantini. There is... I don't know. I was thinking like, is there a way to like hockey? Something hot. You can do that. Oh, that's... W is Bronson? I don't know. Okay. Oh, is that how it works? Okay, so like, 
Q is aldehyde, W is Bronson, Delta is E, and S is that low. Oh, flagnerize that. I guess it's like Q, W, E, R on the keyboard anyway. R, T. It's like a, a line. Oh, now my keyboard stuck. Anyway. Hmm. Is that how it works? But like, I do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three. And then one comma trying. Like that. Yes? That's how you do a little hockey? Doesn't sound a, that doesn't feel as. I don't know. Not enough feedback, I feel like. If you do it with the hockeys, you know, you don't get the feeling of like putting it in the in the thing. <laughs> I don't know. You know. Age it, I guess. I don't know what age means. I guess, you know, just leave it in there for a bit, technically. And then you mix it. There you go. Brantini. Here. Excuse me, the beer mat's dirty. Sorry, I'll change it. Nah, I'll leave it like that. It already ruined the Brantini anyway. Okay. A hey, bartender. Hmm. Bartender. And then bartender. Barb and Tarbender. He's drunk, I guess. Your job has a funny name. You don't say. You're a cute bartender. I swear I could just eat you up. Now you make out? Please don't. It's, you know, gotta have professional standards here. You can't just, you can't just make out with every customer we meet. When did you get drunk? I've been a little ditzy for a while now, but it just probably kicked in. Also, also, some of the dogs invite me over for a drink. Except I'm not drunk. Right. Can you give me a small Brantini? I will definitely pay you money. But you don't have to pay me. Oh, you really buy me that drink? You're so lovely. Yeah, let's leave it at that. A Brantini, a, a normal one. I was wondering, you know, she says small one. Can I make a small Brantini? How do you do that? Divide in half? I mean, it's just, just a normal one. You know, I'll just drag it, you know, it's like the RTS thing, or like MMO thing, you know, using your mouse for everything. Probably a bad, like, uh, the most inefficient way to play, you'd rather just do all hotkeys, but also, you know, if you use hotkeys, you kind of miss that, you know, tactile feedback. Anyway. Also my OBS, when I said tactile, <laughs> did I like clip the mic? I don't know, I've been fiddling my audio settings. I don't know why, but like, sometimes... Uh, I see that the, the, on OBS, the microphone kind of clipped. Hopefully it was not too bad, you know. Before I, I, I had a limiter, but the limiter kind of distorts, you know, the audio. So it doesn't sound good when it distorts it. So either way, you know, if it clips or distorts, you know, it sounds bad anyway. I don't know. Anyway. Here. 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 There was some ranking. Shucks, this is smaller than I thought. Oh, well, you're in no position to drink any more than that thimble full. Maybe you're right. Hey, what made you become a veterinarian? I can never say that word right. Veter veterinarian. Veterinarian. Veterinari veterinarian. Veterinarian. I love animals. They're so cute, so funny, so, so huggable. I want to keep them happy. That's why I became a veterinarian. It's not always easy. But the knowledge that I've helped those cute, cuddly, squishy animals lets me uh, sleep like a baby at night. Lovely. Speaking of love, have you ever been in love, Rambart? Have, haven't we all been in love at some point in our lives? Why? I need advice, and you look like a nice person. Um, sure. Thanks. Um, actually, it's about someone who's really focused on his job, so I figure you understand. I see. Still, what do you need to know? How do you get the attention of someone like that? Of, of someone that's so hyper-focused on something, he disregards everything else. Um, taking an interest in whatever he is obsessed with is a good start, but there's really no science to this. They can feel loved and special, just like you would do with anyone else. You sure? He's like really, really, really obsessed. If he's a decent member of society, yeah, I see no problem with that. I hope you're right. I'm fresh off a breakup and I seriously need a hug. Oh yeah, how do I fix the fact that it's a guy? Guys, eh. Beg your pardon? I'm not into guys, but this here's a guy. What do I do? Um... Right, need to serve dogs. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. 
Not dealing with that. Goodbye. Oh, no need. We're leaving. Already? Don't worry. We'll come back tomorrow. Right. Oh, thank dog. I mean, God. God. Dog again. The devil today, I'm guessing? Yeah. You might want to get some insecticide or something to make sure we're not full of fleas. What does the health inspector think of this stunt? The health inspector is too afraid to come to this part of the city, so I'll assume he's fine with it. Right. Say, boss, you look tense. Really? Weird. <laughs> Weird. So I'll call it a day here. The boss has... By the way, the boss has a... Um... What do you call it again? I, I want to say... Uh... Why can't I think of the word? It's the thing, the hair fluff that Saber has for Face Say Night. I want to say Ahegao, but that's that's the wrong word. I don't know, it's the thing, the hair fluff. Anyway, I, was to say, I just want to say that. Thank you for your hard work. Alright, well it's the next day. Sunday, December 11th. Amazing.